via magnet, and I have the people sign them. They sign it and it makes it sort of um, personal to them. And at the very end of it, I'll just put my number on the back and just say, I'm a magician on the back, on the inside, and have them thread it onto the keychain. It's a weird little business card. So if you guys want to do it in the States with washers, you can. Um, but the basics to it um, is a PK ring. I can't even lie about it. Um, the ring that I use is an eBay wonder ring. Reason being, it's the most natural looking one I have found. It just looks like a weird fashion ring because it has a nice little black band and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I sadly, <laughs> and very geekingly, went and found a ring that was normal that looked the same. You can pick them up on eBay, just type in fashion ring and you'll find one that looks similar. And it's just a PK ring, so <coughs> these coins will adhere to it. All right. Now that is all I am using. Now if you're going to do it on the table, you have a nice little added guise of just spreading out the cards just like this in a sort of biddle position. And as you put everything down, the first one goes down normal and I give a flash. The second one, you're stealing. It just clings to that ring. All right? So in a sort of full performance, you're just always stealing this bottom left ring. So it goes over. As I come up and flash, I'll put that one over. And then I'll come up, put that one down, and I am now ready to go. Now, with this hand, I'm doing a standard Monty move. You're just pulling, let me just get a card where you'll be able to see better. That coin that's hidden, you're just pulling it back into your fingers and then pushing out. So as you flash, you can't see it. All right? And you're just letting this ring do all the work. So you're just holding a sort of biddle position. Looks really firm, really clean. And you just tap here and let that pick it up as you drop that one down. All right? So in a sort of full motion, pop, and it jumps over. Now, I will always put the um, spare card in the hand that's empty. And as I'm going to take this over, I just take the coin with it and do the move again. So it's just hiding there. It's just going along for the ride. And again, I'll just do every coin bar that last one. All right? Now, on the last one, I will just, again, take everything over, and I'll just drop this on top. So the, the coin is now down there. And I will say... When I do this, everyone thinks it's the ring or part of the jewelry. Now, this came about because, again, the whole pen and teller thing. And a lot of people will come up. It doesn't matter what trick I'm doing. I mean, I could be doing a blooming coin and bottle and going, it's a ring guy. It's a ring. Or it's <laughs> ambitious car, I kid you not. Midway through an ambitious car, doing the whole thing where it's rising up. Now, what I do is um, Chris Kenner shift. Is it shifty he calls it, I believe? Where you put the card in and you, it rises up through the deck slowly, but it's halfway out. So you see it go, the guy comes up and goes, yeah, magnetic ring, it's a ring, dude. It's an ambitious car guy, what do, you think, what do you expect me to do? But yeah, so I like to get that out of the way. So if the last one, I've, I know this is gone, I've already put it down. I know there's nothing here, so I'll take everything off. And say, this should prove in the very last one that I don't use that kind of stuff. And you're going to feel it go, All right? Now here's the crazy thing. In fact, can I bring you up again and bring you up again? Here's the crazy thing. The motions for people are the same. Everything is the exact same. So if you put your hands up for me again, this goes on here and that goes on there. Orientations of the coin doesn't really matter. The only thing you're doing different now, instead of putting one card down here normally and then moving over, is I am just going to steal this one right off the bat. That's the very first thing I do. The way around that, I have a very lucky thing. I'm a short, short man. Now you are compensating now because I shouted at you for the first time, but you were here, which is awesome. As my hand comes up and I say, can you lower your hand, I'm not a tall guy, I have stole that. Then I'm just pulling out that bottom card. All right? Then I'll come up here, slide that one out, just pulling it out from under the magnet. So if you're looking from underneath, it looks just like that. I'm just pulling it out from underneath as that goes on top. Now I want to come over here and give a quick flash. So I will take this out and go to put it down, then come back and say, no, actually, see one or two. But it just gives a nice view. Um, it makes them feel as if they can see everything, basically. It gives a nice view of everything. No matter what they say, one or two, you say, all right, I'll put this one over two, or I'll put this one over one, whatever one they say. And just drop it down, and then just go into it. Now, be honest, when you, the first time, did you feel the thing go? Not at all. No one Not ever, it's all. crazy. Everyone panics thinking they're going to feel that. No one ever does. So, for this, with the, when you're doing it with people, I will do it. I've already stole this one, I know it's gone, so I just want to get rid of this one from this person just now. So I'll just do the same motion, pop, and steal it, all right? Now I take the blank card and I'll put this down here just to keep them in this position because I don't want them doing this and lowering the hand. It just breaks the whole image of it and just, 
it seems too relaxed for me. And again, once I've done that, people have stopped and then I've had a quick peek. Just keep that hand occupied so they can't have a wee peek here, basically. Oh, I said canny, I went full Scott, I do apologise. So they can't. And it, the nice thing here is you can move over and say, in fact, they'll let you feel both happen at the same time. So you'll feel this one go as you feel this one arrive. And you're just going to do the same thing. Come over, give a quick flash, pick up, and then tap. That's done. Again, I'll put this down to keep this hand amused. Now, the issue we have here is we need to make this go, and all the time I've been saying you can feel it go. So I need to get that illusion again. So I'll take this and say, when I originally done this, I'll just put it on top. Don't worry about any noise, because I've got a bunch of coins here anyway. So see, when I originally done this, people thought it was the, the ring, so I'll displace that first, we'll get rid of that. And I'll just put it away. Then I'll go to Quinn and say, in fact, actually, we'll get the watch out of the way as well, so you don't think I'm doing anything fishy here. And now I come up and say, you're going to feel this go again. And I'll just touch them and say, you'll feel it. And just look right at them. That's me just saying, if you say otherwise, I'm going to punch you square in the throat, basically. But what I figured out, if you pinch and you just put your finger in the middle, you're going to snap up, right? And what they're feeling, and it sort of simulates the same noise as the ring picking up the coin as well, what they're feeling is the card hitting off their hand. Nothing more. But it just feels the exact same way, doesn't it? It's crazy. Then at this side, I kind of do the same motion, just so they feel as if there's something dropping there and landing. But that's basically it. That's the matrix the way I do it now. Um, it's just one of those odd ones, which is fun. If you have a PK ring, feel free to knock it on out. And again, cheers, guys. Can have a wee seat. Thank you. Any questions on that one, big guy? There was just um, one guy said that you mentioned that you could do it without the ring. Or was that more of just a... No, I, there is a way to do it without the ring. Um, and it's, again, it's another plug for someone else. Cool. Um, use, it's called a PK blister. The man's name escapes me right now. I do apologize, but it's called a PK blister. You, again, you can get it on Penguin, I did check. Um, in fact, you can get them everywhere, and it's just a little flesh-colored magnet, basically. Oh, and it, it sticks on it, as what it, cool, it says, yeah. it's a PK blister. And it works just the same. Um, and if you don't have a PK ring, you can get one at penguinmagic.com. Uh, you can get them at penguinmagic.com. Feel free, you can go grab them there as well. It's entirely what suits you. I'll just, <laughs> I will be your little promotion boy. That's why. <laughs> Any more questions while I put this stuff away? What denomination coins did you use? The coins I use, in fact, let me get a close up of these. Sorry, just may as well keep one. I'll get this on camera. The coins I use are a British 10 pence. Now, generally in the UK, if you get one, if as soon as this focuses. And that's just, is that like a little bit bigger than a quarter? It's a bit the same size. Oh, is it? If you get one that has a sort of lion shield on there, and uh, just make sure that it has 2011 as your date. Canadian quarters would work, I'm yeah. assuming? Yeah. yeah, anything that's steel cord. The, the coin itself doesn't have to be magnetic. Um, it's just the um, steel sure. of it, just attracting to the magnet. But that's basically it. Any, any other ones? I think we're good. Awesome. Ooh, we're going to do this bad boy. Right, who are we going to pick on for this? Um, does someone have some keys I can borrow? Anyone? Uh, that's a couple of them more. Take them out, guys. I, I want to see who I'm going to break first. In fact, I want to see who I'm going to annoy. Again, this is one of the things I like to... Oh, you guys have odd keys. Uh, the funny thing is, this is why I'm asking. He's searching for his keys. They're... Yeah, I know. That's right. <laughs> I couldn't feel it. No one else? In fact, yours will do. Let me see those. I won't lie. I did check it out before you come in. <laughs> that's like, he has the key I need. You'll see why in a minute. Right, this is a sort of fun one. I don't need to do it directly for camera here. In fact, what you can do, if you do it just right, you can break the key. Don't be here. Oh, oh tasty, I love it. It's only a key, guy, don't panic. If I here, if you grab it just the right way. In fact, come on up. Now, if I put the piece back on, or I was just holding it and hold that there, just hold the keys for me. Mm -hmm. And if you just rub, it almost looks as if it links back on. Beautiful. It's crazy, isn't it? It's is very nice. That's broken home. It's a bad name for a trick, I know, I'm sorry. Right, 